Hi, just wanted to do a quick video um, and give you a workaround for uh, one of the issues in uh, Adobe Dreamweaver regarding the uh, CSS uh, edits. And so let me share my screen. Uh, I may have mentioned before how uh, software in general uh, is constantly updating and Adobe is the, the leader in that category of making changes and moving things around. And you know, with the subscription, it just happens all the time. So this is one of those things that uh, happened a while back and there's a workaround for it. So uh, I've got my index file here. I've got my style sheet here. Um, and I'm not seeing something that I wanna see. So I'm gonna kill that and create a new one. Uh, might have deleted some stuff in testing. Uh, so file, new, uh, CSS, create. And there's what I, that's what I was looking for. I'm gonna save that. And I'm just going to save it over the one that I had, style sheet there, save, replace. All right, so we're good. All right. And now I want to link this to that one. Let's make sure this is saved and that's good. Come back here and uh, tool CSS uh, attach style sheet. Let's find that style sheet and attach it here, uh, there, I believe that's the one. Let's see, yes, we're good with that. So open that one and link and okay. All right, so now we have our style sheet attached. We have our style sheet over here. Okay, so um, we want to put some text here and then I'll show you uh, the issue that you may already be experiencing. Uh, we want to insert a div here and add some text. So, okay, that here is some text to work with color. Colors are cool. Okay, so we have this here with some text and what we wanna do is we wanna select our text and we want to, um, if you don't see your properties down here, usually you can just click, let me refresh this, there we go. Or you can click down here and it'll usually show up. Uh, so what we wanna do is if we come over here to change the font, we want this to apply to the uh, CSS style sheet that we just created. And we can see here that it's actually in line instead of on our style sheet. So what we can do is select the text um, of the, the class, the code here, uh, the style, <laughs> um, and select inside the brackets, select that, right click on it and go down to selection and convert inline CSS to rule. And then uh, you've got some options here to stay with the new class, uh, CSS class. Uh, we've got our style sheet here. If it wasn't here, we browse and find it. Let's give this a name and we'll call this new text style. New text style, okay, and we'll okay that. All right, so we can see here, it's automatically converted the inline to, I guess it wasn't automatic because we clicked on it, uh, the, the, the uh, the inline to um, the uh, the class here. And then if you go over to the style sheet, you can see that it has updated there. All right, now let's change this color and we do the exact same thing. We're gonna select the text, select the text and just make our change here. And we'll just use, uh, let's see, something about there. All right, okay, so we've got our color and we can see that it created the, the span, but it also added the uh, color, the style in line. And to change that, we do the exact same thing, select inside the brackets, and then uh, right click, uh, selection, convert in line, same thing here, except you wanna make sure that that is set to new, and we'll call this a color change. Uh, alrighty, and then there's a style sheet and okay. All right, so there's a class, color change and um, style sheet there. You can see both of the classes have been created. All right, and then if you want to uh, make a change to this um, color change, you just you can click on the edit rule and go over here and we can change this to uh, something different here like that. 
OK and click OK. And as we can see up in here, the color has changed. So I hope that helps you with uh, that issue in uh, Dreamweaver.